chest, sir. Ooh! Hi! Right. I have no idea where this joke is going. Mr. Jip, open that treasure chest, and inside... Another he's... treasure chest, sir! Who knew? Look! Will the wonders be received? Oh, the irony! Ooh! What, what's in here? Ooh, barking! <laughs> He opened that treasure chest and inside. Oh, no, that's Stop it. <laughs> treasure chest, sir. He opened that treasure chest and inside he discovered. Oh, the forbidden jewel of Jambalaya! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you do, Mr. Jim, sir, do not look into the gem because it is cursed. I won't look into the gem because it's cursed, and by won't looking into it, I mean I already have, sir. With that, Mr. Jiff's hair turned white with horror. Ah! <laughs> See, this is what you look like. <laughs> we had it good. <laughs> well, the curse of the gem was none other than that of true self-awareness. Oh. Ah! Wait. I'm a middle-aged actor making my living as a pirate at a renaissance festival. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Wait! This is all your fault, sir. Me? Yeah, he said, hey, let's write a pirate show. We'll travel around the country. We'll make some money. We'll meet some girls. You know what? We haven't made any money, and we haven't met hardly any girls. I'm living in a trailer park with a bunch of hippies. And they're cool, but they eat hummus 24-7. And they smell of patchouli. And I think in some way I'm married to a woman named Moonbeam. And she's got some tattoos, man. You know what? This is all your fault. You know what that means? Uh, probably that you have to kill me. I do, sir. I really do. Do you mind if I defend myself? It's too late. How about you? Yeah! Hold still so I can poke you. No. Home. Oh, look, we're home. Ooh, nice. We found the sea hag and gave her the forbidden jewel. 